I'm talking about the power of hope. I'm talking about giving yourself a hard standard, a standard that's higher than what your brain gives you. If you can keep setting those high goals, the goals that you thought like you couldn't make it, for example, like 15 reps, a lot of time people stop at 12, but they can actually get to 15, and you're saying like, today I'm gonna get to 15, I have the strength to do 15, then there's a way higher chance that you're gonna do 13, 14, instead of stopping at 12. my water bottle for the bag as you see here it is completely full so I might need to not I might I have to get my 25 pound dumbbell back and try to push it through 55 then because um it's all my water bottles it filled everything right that is 30 pounds, 30 pounds of weight for free <laughs> in backpacks. Technically, I can like use my other backpack and then do the same thing, like put water bottle in there. Then I guess I can have like 60 pounds with two backpacks, one in back, one in front. That works. <laughs> I don't know, because training to failure using using body weight is very hard since like the weight is always there and if you fail to do a partial rub then the worst thing that can happen is that uh, like you're gonna drop down drop down the bar. So that's gonna hurt if you do that. Good attempt so I'm gonna switch over to push ups and we said there ain't no reason, but I sit here every day Waiting for the moment, I won't feel like I should stay The way I let you slip by If you just focus on your technique and focus on the strategies like how can you squeeze one more rep with full range of motion and everything else then you can definitely make it it's just that a lot of time people give up too early
going back to the technique, tell yourself something that makes you to do another rap. I tell myself sometimes like, yo, everyone is watching, you gotta do one more rap. Or everybody can do 10. If you stop at 10, you're gonna end up the same place where everyone else did 10. If you want to be a champion, you gotta do 11, you gotta do 12, you gotta do 15. You can't just stop at 10. You are not a very smart person, so you have to try harder. And if you just keep going, be consistent, and always try your best, something's gonna happen. Something is gonna happen. I have, I know a lot of people who have like insanely great generic, insanely great grade, like there's, or like academically, they're very smart, but they just don't push themselves and I feel like, now I feel like it is a problem because like the college are thinking, they're like, oh, I want to go to BU, I want to go to Northeastern. And I'm, I'm just sitting there like, bro, if you put a little more effort, you can get in stuff like MIT, like Harvard, you can get in if you just keep participating and keep winning. But a lot of times you don't even trust yourself, like you don't even compete because it's not like you don't have the chance to compete. You just, you got offered, you have a chance to compete, but you never compete. Why are you not trying? Oh, because I know I'm not gonna make it. Who told you that? The voice inside you. It's not the judge. Like if you try your hardest, no matter what it is, you are gonna make it. If you just put your 100%. When was the last time you do 100%? So, yeah, now like I'm linking, now I'm like linking it back to myself, like a lot of time I don't even try 100% either, but I'm saying these stuff, now, I'm, now I recognize these and it makes sense. If you don't have a single ambition, then you're not going anywhere, swear to God. If you do not have any goals in mind, then where else are you gonna go? You're just gonna step, stay in where you are and never go higher. And that's a problem. So, delete that, okay?